Tonight is Amnesty International's 50th birthday. 50 years ago, Amnesty was formed because two Portuguese students were imprisoned for seven years for toasting to freedom. So, uh, in their honor, we will toast to freedom. And might you join us singing Happy Birthday to Amnesty International. Happy Birthday to you. Toast to freedom. And hang on, we got another special message which was unbelievable even a year ago. So hang on. After many years, I'm finally able to speak to you. You who across such distances have sent such support to Burma. We thank you. Your students, teachers, workers, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers. You are music fans, you too fans like me. When you raise your voices, we hear them in our country and around the world. They are louder than any rock band, than any army, than any rocket fire or fighter jet. Your voices are the future, the voices of reason, equality and justice. We are not bystanders in our own history. Every one of us writes a story that is told. I see it through your support for Burma, for Amnesty International, Greenpeace, for the one campaign. Where basic human rights are denied or basic human needs are not met, the struggle may be hard, it may take time, but if we demand it, change will come. This year, the planet will host seven billion people. But to bring about change, it starts with just one person, one.